Gen Zers are dying and becoming neats. What is a neat? Neat is a term that stands for not in employment, education, or training. So Gen Zers are increasingly becoming neats by choice. This is a study that has now come out, and it is a serious issue. It's a term that a lot of people in Japan are familiar with, known as the hikikikamori. Basically, these are a bunch of shut-in people who spend all of their time at home, and they don't really leave their houses. The neat, they're basically just an extension of the neat. The neat, on the other hand, may or may not go out, but they spend most of their days just eating, sleeping, drinking, farting, playing games, and then doing it all again the next day. Basically, your typical Gen Zer. And it's beginning to get, get the attention of researchers and even government officials. By the way, if you guys enjoy these videos, make sure to hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe down below. And of course, members of the channel do get new videos early. If you'd like to learn more about that, click the join button down below this video. So these people, these bad muffins, are just going from bad to absolute worst. It's like every day, Gen Z just falls lower and lower and lower. And, and people are taking note. Like, if you check, check out this article. So Gen Z are increasingly becoming needs by choice and not, in, and not in employment, education, or training. And what do they use? What picture do they use in the article to represent Gen Z? A scumbag Gen Zer with a, you know, with a, a hat on his head smoke, you know, blowing up cigarette smoke everywhere, sitting in to, next to another Gen Zer who's also smoking, and look at the stupid on his face. You can see the absolute stupid on his face. Oh, my gosh. This is what everyone thinks of Gen Z. And, of course, Gen Z also has the lowest, the shortest lifespan of every other generation over the last 100 years, specifically Gen Z women. They are passing away faster than women who were born in 1928. And that's as far back as we can go in terms of record keeping. Okay, so it may actually be 200 years. They also have the highest mortality rates during childbirth. This is in the future. We live in the future right now. Like, and it's not like, you know, back in the 80s where people thought they were living in the future. Now, we live in the future now. We have lots of crazy tech. We just don't really utilize it the way we should. And we have women have higher mortality rates now than women who were born roughly 100 years ago make that make sense so just like peter pan there's a growing cohort of gen Zers who are refusing to grow up and embrace life's major milestones to adulthood yeah these good for nothing muffins are really going to serve serve in the military when the draft hits i like i said what not if when yeah like getting some form of qualification or joining the work, the world of work. Instead, they're opting to become NEETs, not in employment, education, or training, and creating record levels of youth unemployment around the world. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus. Guys, this is a global, this is a global issue, all right? I don't want to use the P word, but that's exactly what it is. All right. Just like 2020. This is exactly what it is. It's a it's a global, it's a global thing. All right. The virus is spread across the world. Okay. This garbage with Gen Z. This Gen Z the, the mind virus. Holy cow. So according to the international labor organization, about a fifth of people between 15 and 24 worldwide in 2023 are currently needs a fifth guys a fifth of these good for nothings a fifth of these gen zers in spain alone half a million 15 to 24 year old are neither studying or working so they are dropping out of school at 15 years old 15 15 guys this Gen Z is a good for nothing generation. And the oldest, the oldest of Gen Z are just, they're even worse than the youngest of Gen Z. 
They're dropping out of school at 15. Emma Chamberlain was a perfect example of this. All right? That's a popular YouTuber. In Spain alone, over half a million 15 to 24-year-olds are neither studying nor working. Meanwhile, in the UK, almost 3 million Gen Zers are now classed as economically inactive. They're living off welfare. With 384,000 youngsters joining the workless class since the events of 2020. The studies don't delve into what's inspiring young people to ditch the rat race and opt for a life under their parents' roof or on public subsidies. Some cities, welfare. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Jesus, help us all. But separate research highlights that even if they did start climbing the corporate ladder, buying a home of their own still feels like an impossible task. Adulthood milestones are seemingly out of reach anyway. Reams of research show that those in their early 20s are earning less, have more debt, and see higher delinquency rates than millennials. <laughs> delinquency! Delinquency! Jesus! Jesus, help us! Jesus, help us! Delinquency rates that millennials did at their age. These people are delinquents. Credit reporting agency TransUnion found that 20-somethings Today are taking home around forty-five thousand five hundred dollars, while millennials at their age were earning fifty-one thousand eight hundred fifty-two, when adjusted for inflation. Despite earning less, young people today are being forced to dig deep for basic necessities like food, groceries, and gas, thanks to inflation. Meanwhile, housing prices have increased more than twice as fast as income has since the turn of the millennium. This divergence goes a long way in explaining why young people may feel like saving or even working towards the future is futile. As one Gen Zer noted in Fortune, I'm just focusing on the present because the future is depressing. Jesus. Hustling is so last season. Hustling, girl bossing, or work hard, play harder, just doesn't quite have the same grip on Gen Z as it did on the on millennials starting out. Oh, gosh. Many young people today would rather protect their well-being than compete their way up the corporate ladder only to not be able to afford the McMansion their parents bought for a fraction of the price. Even those who do want to work don't want a career. Instead, many Gen Zers are eyeing up easygoing jobs that don't require regular overtime, anti-social working hours, or substantial responsibilities like managing a large team. Others are avoiding office jobs. The hottest role right now among Gen Z grads are in teaching, where low pay is base is balanced with weeks of vacation. Meanwhile, non-grad Gen Zers are picking up the tools and taking up trade jobs in record numbers. Mental health struggles. At the same time, as unemployment among the youth is rising, their mental health is in decline. Gen Z, are, Gen Z are nearly twice as stressed out as millennials were at their age. More than, more than a third of 18 to 24-year-olds are suffering from a common mental disorder like stress, anxiety, or depression. And Gen Zers who are working are taking significant, significantly more sick leave than Gen Xers 20 years their senior. Youth, work, youth worklessness due to ill health, is a real and growing trend. It is worrying that young people in their 20s who, in, who just embarking on their adult life are more likely to be out of work due to ill health than those in their early 40s. Researchers at the Think Tank Resolution uh, previously told Fortune, yeah, Gen X is killing it. Gen X is killing it. Really, is it any surprise that those mentally struggling would avoid joining the world of work when more than half of CEOs even admit that their com company's culture is toxic. I mean, guys, Gen Z are good for or bad. I, the world is really hard for everyone right now, and I can understand those points, but Gen Z just honestly doesn't want to work. And their alternative to this is to sit home, play games, you know, sleep, eat, fart, drink, smoke. 
play games, and then you know, do it all again the next day. That's Gen Z for you. 77% of them are disqualified from serving in the military by the military because they are found unfit due to obesity, substance abuse, or mental health issues. All right? Mental health or mental incompetence. In other words, they're too, they're either too mentally ill, too dumb, too fat, or drug abusers. And for those reasons, they cannot they, they cannot serve. The military will not take them. And now they're going to be automatically drafting, citing Gen Z up, Zers up for the draft, and, auto, and dra automatically drafting these people. And you want to tell me that you really think that there's any chance in hell that these lunatics, these muffins, are going to serve in the military? You're out of your damn minds. All right. I already told you when they come for the when they come for the handful of them who can even who are even able to serve or they think are even able to serve just based on data. These guys are going to be in their parents' basement, all right, sleeping and farting after a long night of a long night of drinking, smoking, weed, and playing Call of Duty. They won't be up until around sometime in the evening. Like 6 p.m. is not bad, although some of them won't be up until 9, okay? Because that because that weed was laced. That weed was laced. It was laced and it was lit. It was laced with Fendi and it was lit, okay? And so they're not going to be up until until sometime that evening, all right? And then and they have to hop. They have to hop right on. Have to hop right back on. Right back on. All right? Because they've got some. They've got some kills. They've got some more kills. They need to get out. All right? This is Gen uh, in in Call of Duty in Fortnite. This is Gen Z. This is Gen Z. And this is a, it, this is a ridiculous society we now live in. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying the content, consider checking out the Men Walking Away channel where I release daily videos. But if you want even more angry guy content, check out Men Walking Away. It's linked in the description of the video. Check it out. Subscribe. Enjoy the content. What do you guys think regarding all of this? Gen Zers are dying and becoming neats. You know, are you surprised? I've said this before. Gen Alpha is coming right behind them. You know, that, that's Gen Alpha is a generation after Gen Z. And I said many Gen Alphas would many, if not most Gen Alphas, would never work a normal job in their lives. And, you know, many of you are going to say, wow, Angry, you are prophetic. Like, these, these people are never going to actually hold an actual normal job, all right? Outside of, like, doing some little DoorDash side hustles, they will never hold a normal job a day in their lives. And it's not because AI is replacing all the jobs. It's because these people are not fit for the labor force. <laughs> Can't read, can't write, single mother households. I already called it. They will be a large prison population. But that's the story for another video. What do you think about everything we discussed in this video? Let's talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away, and cheers.